hi everyone, <coughs> and this lesson is about the th sound. Uh, in English, we have the uh, orthographically we have th, the letter t and h. When they come together in any English word, they pronounce almost uh, all the time. They pronounce th and sometimes th. Two different phonemes, but in the same orthographic uh, phenomena, okay? But in Arabic, they have two letters orthographically, tha and tha. And we have pre uh, presented the tha, this letter, tha sound, that is not forced, but forceless. There is no vibration. But this sound is, vib there is a vibration in our vocal tract, so it's the, presented by this letter, the. Okay? That sound. Uh, there is a vibration, so it's forced. But the place of articulation, if we make this sound in the words like, the, like the words the uh, they this sound <coughs> is happening the, by the tip like if we make the, the, it is uh, there is uh, the tip of the tongue is inter between the uh, two T sets so hence it's called interdental it's having a blockage of our airstream here so it's Interdental, okay. The passive, uh, the passive articulator is the these sets, and the active articulator is the tip of our tongue or on the blade of our tongue. Okay. The manarha, it is there is a friction, so it is fricative. Okay. Okay. It is, so this sound is forced interdental fricative. Thank you for listening.